get back into Russia and China not backing down, Guaido saying tactical action will be launched very soon. We'll tell you when they're projecting that. It's kind of strange to project tactical action, but we're going to see what's going down in this globalist world order war. Is this what's coming? today we get into the action of Russia China and in the recent goings of the lately coming out situation but you notice how the media is not really even talking about much of the whole war situation so you can guess what the biggest thing is of today we'll, we'll take you to that well, one of the national interests that came out with a report of course so they got to start their little campaigns up but national interest comes out, talks about the old wars and how many people could have died last time in Russia and China. 335 million dead if America launched a massive nuclear war on Russia and China. Overall, an all out U.S. attack on Soviet Union, China satellite countries in 1962 would have killed 335 million people in the first 22 hours. So they've been putting that out in reports. And you notice how they kind of just want to see all of this stuff happening. And it's like they're asking the question. That's like, oh, it's Venezuela where Trump finally stands up to Putin. You know, you see, and most of the, the story that you see coming out, it's like they just want it to happen. They want to provoke it to happen. It's been the biggest thing that they always kind of jumped into. And so they're, they're talking about now since the real Russia gate. Why are the press ignoring Putin's troops in Venezuela? Yet again, the U.S. media sidesteps reporting foreign policy coverage. So I guess they're not talking about that in the news. I don't know because I haven't even been really looking deep into it. The crisis is coming. It's, it's being set as we see the UN pushing people at the border uh, on that level of being broken. And then the major World War scenario. And in, in, a, in a recent uh, meeting, we want to talk about uh, what they had going on before we get into everything else about China and Russia and what's happening. UN summit seeks new world order to transform the way we live under the guise of saving the planet from supposedly dangerous human plastics, free markets, governments, dictators, attending fourth United Nations Environment Assembly. Uh, Kenya adopted declarations to hijack control of the global economy and transform the way we live. Among the key goals of the UN's bold blueprint for change as the agreement was uh, production sustainable. Best described is a new world order that makes cons consumption and production sustainable. But in reality, as the magazine has documented extensively, the UN backed ideology, sustainable development, uh, has less to do with protecting the environment. We talked about this too. They talk about 1.8 billion would be displaced due to the water crisis alone. Somebody sent me uh, recently some toads were poisoning the water, and we heard about all the other things happening to the water. But moving into this scenario, we'll talk about that in another video and kind of break that down. But Russia and China to get new ships to train together to challenge U.S. power at sea. And they have the actual drills that they're talking about here is Russia and China have set to revamp their naval forces and hold joint drills next month. As the United States accused the two of destabilizing activities that challenges on global military dominance. The Russian Defense Ministry announced Wednesday that Russian Navy, the People's Liberation Army Navy, are to hold joint C-2019 joint naval drills in late April, early May 2019. The announcement came after Chinese Rear Admiral uh, Yan and Russian Rear Admiral Alexander met in St. Petersburg for a planning conference. So, yeah, that's what's happening. And they also were saying that uh, China takes over on U.S. over Venezuela after Russian sends troops. It's not your backyard. So, yeah, of course, they're basically not backing down. Uh, this is just something we've been seeing. And Guaido is talking about nationwide uh, tactical action, I believe. And we're going to take you into that in, this, in a second. They're talking about that next week. So, yeah, we're going to take you into that in a second. And, of course, we know 
John Bolton is just so happy about. Let's go to war, everybody. This is what John Bolton. He gives out White House warns Russia, others against sending troops to Venezuela. White House on Friday warned Russia and other countries backing President Nicolas Maduro against sending troops, military equipment to Venezuela, saying the United States would view such actions as a direct threat to region security. So, yeah, this this Bolton, man. And we'll throw you into a quick video uh, of, of how much I can watch a Bolton because I really don't like watching Bolton because he just wants the war. He just push everything. And so, yeah, anyway, and before we get into that video, he's talking about it's a direct threat. But Abrams, they say, saying is Russian troops in Venezuela could include sanctions. So they're saying they're going to, I guess, hit it with more sanctions, which is not going to do anything. Because at this point, uh, Russia and China don't even care about the sanctions. They've already stated that. But let's get into the monopoly face, John Bolton, war loving. Uh, rhetoric pushing bifocal engineer of global warfare operations that he loves to try to get pushed. But anyway, let's just go into a quick video of what they're saying. But I want to bring in Ambassador John Bolton. He's with us now, National Security Advisor. Uh, you just released a statement on Venezuela. Strong words for the Russians. You, you giving them another warning? Well, I think President Trump gave him a very clear warning on Wednesday when he said they had to get out of Venezuela. You know, this Russian military presence, along with uh, what are probably earlier indications of Russian military presence and a huge presence of Cuban security forces, really leads to the question, who's running Venezuela? Uh, the Maduro regime is bad enough, but if we've got Cubans and Russians, as many believe, basically calling the shots, I think it's one more reason why we need to get a peaceful transfer of power to interim President Juan Guaido. That's what the president was saying on Wednesday when he went, met with uh, uh, the first lady of Venezuela, Guaido's wife. Uh, and it's a point we just wanted to make clear today as well. Well, sir, the president just tweeted that if the Mexican government doesn't stop the through traffic of illegals coming into America, he will close the border next week or large parts of it. Your response to that, sir? Well, I would listen to the president. All right. And, and again, Guaido is not even elected in that country over there in Venezuela. And I, I didn't really want to hear much more from Bolton's mouth. But... Yeah, they're threatening Trump threatening to shut down the border next week. Trump threatens to close the Mexican border next week over immigration, March 29th. And next week as well, uh, Guaido, all this next week, Guaido to lunch, Venezuela wide tactical action to top of Maduro. Uh, this is coming out on Zero Hedge. It came out on the 28th. So we'll read into that. And the U.S. recognized interim president has announced plans for his supporters to launch tactical actions. Starting next week, same as the border being closed next week. And it says, as part of his Operation Freedom to overthrow President Nicolas Maduro, the opposition is now telegraphing their regime change maneuvers. Probably a psyop for something else or maybe a different date. Who knows? Telegraphing their regime change maneuvers and what appears more of a, a desperate strategy to maintain external and internal uh, pressure, international pressure, and visibility on continuing political crisis. The country lately felt a series of major nationwide electricity outages. And then Trump signed the executive order on the EMP. We already seen that. White House said Twitter, uh, via Twitter, that such tactical actions are to begin April 6, which will move, will involve freedom cells set up across the country, rising up in mass protest when the order is given. April 6th. So like, they got that group of supporters. They got that people ready. Saying they're going to launch tactical actions. He says next week. Gives out a date. I don't know if I believe the date because you're projecting what you're going to do. Everything you're going to do on a specific date is just to kind of get people ready, but also try to do something else. But like we said, they signed the executive order on the EMP and all this stuff just in the recent goings. Now we got the border crisis for the UN. The right crisis. Are they trying to set up the right crisis? What do you think? Do you think is this the right crisis that they're trying to set up? Yeah. Bring in the new world order war. And like I said, people are like, oh, well, we're going to go to war. You know, all you have to do is hit you with the MP. 
you know, the word about war, and it's just us on the ground, of course, and it can't be detected as well. So that's another thing. But moving on into it, like we said, the media will not talk about how much or what's going on in Russia. They're just like, oh, well, let's push this war. Let's get this to happen. Let's get this to happen. You know, this is a great thing. This is we need a big economic reset. And we just we just need to this is warfare that's happening on so many levels. So like you said, border patrol, then you got our military, then you got the people already facing warfare in the country by globalist traders. And so even if the lights was hit, how will we know who hit them? How will we know it's not our own government? How will we know what to expect? Like I say, expect to have. And I seen a video from uh, the other day, uh, what's his name? Very, very important video talking about the prison population. I think it's my keys or something like that. And how economic collapse having all this stuff, the prison population gets to go free. He had a map out talking about the prison population as well. So that would be a big thing uh, we would have to look at. But I didn't pinpoint myself. So yeah, I should, I'll, I'll probably link that video below so y'all can go look into that. Uh, definitely want to look at that. And, and when I think about it, you know, EMPs, it, it, it hits and make planes drop completely out of the air because their electronics get fried and stuff like that. It was coming to me, it's like, oh, I had a dream that the plane just completely fell out of the sky and I was looking up. And so, I don't know, things just kind of get vivid and I kind of just see things sometimes in dreams and just crazy things that all play out and you just start to get it and then things start to go together. But moving on into it, just saying that next week they plan to close the border. And at the same time, next week, Guaido is projecting he's supposed to do tactical action nationwide. So next week is going to be a big week to be looking at. Uh, so we're going to be monitoring more of this next week as well. So, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? You think this is a globalist warfare tactic to get action kicked off so that we are so overwhelmed on so many levels that they can ensure, uh, try to overthrow us. But it's going to be some stand up action happening. And in a big globalist war like that, though, you can inspect the drones, you can inspect a lot of stuff. They already signed the executive order for the artificial intelligence, uh, promoting the AI. Uh, you know, they've had drones for years and warfare over the Middle East. Now they want it on the population as well. So, yeah, we'll definitely be keeping in tune with these very serious times, very serious times. All right, children of the Most High, I will leave his link in the description box as well as down in the comments as usual thank you for watching have a blessed and beautiful day pray without ceasing hug and kiss your wife stay close to yeshua and uh i will be bringing another video as soon as i get something to stay on top of things thank you bye now